Hi guys, it's the Black Friday sale and today we're going on perfume shopping here at Sephora. Let's go! So here is my big Sephora bag and actually you know I was planning to film my shopping experience but I wasn't able to do so because I went crazy like I spent hours in the store testing a lot of perfumes. So aside from the 20% off I also got lots of freebies so it was really a fun experience. Okay so let me show you the perfumes that I bought so starting with perfect by Marc Jacobs so actually I was contemplating if I should buy this or the intense version but I find that I like this um, original perfect more so I bought the 50 mil and guys I was shocked that this comes with lots of freebies um, I'm not sure if this is a thing in Sephora because I seldom buy perfumes in Sephora, but let me show you what I got for free. So first is this Marc Jacobs tote bag. And I fell in love with the color actually, so let me just unwrap this for you. So this is the tote bag from Marc Jacobs. So it's a black and gold color combination, which is pretty. And it's also a good size, so I can put a lot of things inside. So yeah, so it has this bling here. And you know, getting this for free, who can say no? So next free item that I got from Marc Jacobs is this one. And this is actually a pouch. So look at that. Isn't it pretty? It's a gold pouch. It's a small size. But I can use this for, you know, um, date nights or if I need to attend some events or something. So yeah, I can use this. And this is free. Next free items from Marc Jacobs is these two hand creams so this is the perfect Marc Jacobs intense version so because the lady who assisted me really like she knows that I'm struggling to choose between the intense or the original one so she's very kind and very generous to give me two hand creams and she also gave me a sample of the intense version so this is a five mil All right this is super cute next one is linterdit Rouge from Givenchy and I got the 30 mil and of course this came with freebies as well so they gave me a Linterdit Rouge travel size and I believe this is um, a 12.5 mil So it's nice to have it and another one they gave me is this K 
Kenzoki, and I think this is from Kenzo. It's the Sacred Lotus Face Fluid. I think this is a face lotion, I guess. And they also gave me this red pouch, also from Givenchy. So look at the color. It's a bloody red. It's a good size. Well, you know, I can put some stuffs in here and just put this on my handbag. So I bought another perfume from Givenchy and that's the Irresistible. And look at the packaging. It's perfect for gifts. So this has a 50 ml EDP, a 75 ml bottle lotion, and a lipstick. So this is the color of the lipstick. It's pink and very girly. Well, honestly, I don't wear lipstick nowadays because, well, I wear a mask every time I go out. So maybe I would just give this to someone else. Of course, this set came with free items too. And they gave me this bag. So I think this has, let's see what's inside. Oh, so they gave me another red pouch. And another 12.5 linterite rouge. I also bought travel size perfumes. So I have this beach walk from Mason Margiela from the replica line. And I have very good girl from Carolina Herrera. And lastly, this Jimmy Choo, I want you. So here are all my purchases and all the free items that I received. It's really a fun experience and I had a good time. And honestly, I feel happy whenever I receive free items even though I don't need them because it's like receiving a gift and it's such a happy feeling. So let's talk about perfumes now starting with Beach Walk by Mason Margiela from the Replica line. So the description on this says sun-kissed salty skin. Well, for me, this smells vacation. Like this is the scent that you get by relaxing at the beach. And when I say beach, it's not like that breezy or fresh aquatic kind of beach scent. But rather this one smells like a suntan lotion with that coconut scent. So it's giving that beach vacation vibe, but it's more like you're just relaxing on the beach side wearing a sunscreen or coconut body lotion. So top notes on this are lemon, bergamot, and pink pepper. Middle notes are coconut milk, ilang-ilang, and heliotrope. And in the base are musk, benzoin, and cedar. So this is a perfect fresh summer perfume and I like this. This can be a unisex perfume although the ilang-ilang is really prominent. And there's a little sweetness and fruitiness in here that's giving that tropical vibe but I don't get much of the saltiness. So if you like musk, ilang ilang and coconut or maybe that suntan lotion scent, you will like this perfume. So actually, I wanted to share with you that I tried layering this with the Bad and Body Works at the beach and oh my gosh it's so perfect and you must try it they have the same vibe and they smell insanely good, good together next is jimmy Choo. i want Choo. i like the name so i thought this is a rollerball but i'm glad it's not and I tested this in Sephora a few months back and I really like this perfume although I'm not ready to commit to a full bottle yet. So this has top notes of peach and mandarin orange, middle notes of jasmine and red lily and base notes of vanilla. So this is a white floral with vanilla undertone. The opening is fruity but creamy. You know, like the peach in here is like a creamy peach. 
Then the jasmine becomes prominent with warm vanilla as it dries down, but the peach is still there, making it like a bright yet warm perfume. This smells classy and I think this would be a great evening perfume. It has a little sexiness to it and somehow it's giving me that Carolina Herrera good girl vibe, but not dark sexy. Rather, this is more like a sweeter, fresher, fruitier, more caramel type of version of good girl. So if you think that good girl is too heavy or too dark for you, you may try and like this one. So since we're already in that good girl vibe, let's talk about this Very Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. And I only got the 10 ml rollerball, but I love the bottle of this perfume. It's that super sexy, bright red stiletto bottle, and I would love that on my display cabinet. But let's talk first about the juice. So I wanted to start by saying that this is very different to the original Good Girl. Basically, this is rose and lychee mixed with loads of vanilla, while the original Good Girl is almond, powdery, coffee, vanilla. If not for the bottle, I wouldn't think that this is a flanker of Good Girl, and maybe I would think that this is a new fragrance in Carolina Herrera's collection. So, top notes are lychee and red currant. Middle note is rose and base notes are vanilla and vetiver. So the opening of this is definitely fruity as the lychee is just giving that strong kick. It's juicy and very sweet and I think I smell something like red berries as well. And as this dries down, I start getting the rose but it's soft and a little powdery and it adds to that lychee note. And on the dry down, the vanilla starts coming out more and it even becomes sweeter, but the lychee note stays the entire life of this perfume. There's also vetiver in here, which makes it a little earthy or woody, but somehow because of the tart, sweet fruitiness, I don't find this as a sexy perfume and I would not even wear this on date nights. Rather, this is more like a girly, fun, playful, flirty vibe. Would I buy a full bottle? Maybe not because I don't know when will I wear this perfume and I tend to like the original Good Girl more than this one. Next is Linterit Rouge by Givenchy. And honestly, I was intending to buy the intense version but the Sephora in Westgate doesn't have a stock, so I tried this flanker, and I must say that this is such an amazing, sultry perfume. I first fell in love with the bottle. Look at that. It's such a beautiful bottle with a dark red color, which already gives that sexy vibe. This has top notes of blood orange and ginger, middle notes of tuberose, jasmine, and pimento leaf, and base of patchouli, sandalwood, and vetiver. So opening is citrusy, sweet, and gingery, but the ginger spice is soft, and it's just giving that little kick. It's like a sweet ginger scent. And once it starts to dry down, I can smell the tuberose and jasmine, which is a rich, fresh, floral vibe. So some people say that this smells herbal or medicinal, but I don't get that. All I'm getting is a sweet, creamy, thick, warm, woody, floral scent. I can say that this is a seductive and elegant perfume. And if I would put this in a pitcher, it's like a red wine mixed with rose petals and sweet cherry. You know, that red, sexy, floral, yet sweet scent. It's very cozy, warm, sensual, feminine fragrance. I love this perfume and I can't wait to wear this. I can't talk about longevity or projection because I haven't tested this, but I can see this being worn on date nights, intimate occasions, or anytime you want to feel seductive and sexy in a sophisticated way. Well, I don't care much on the EDP because it's a little mature for me, but 
I'm still eyeing on the Linterit Intense. So let me know guys if it's worth to have both Intense and Rouge. But as of now, I am in love with this Linterit Rouge. Next is Irresistible by Givenchy. And for the bottle, I like it. It's simple, yet a little bit classy. And what I like about this perfume, it's the simplicity and femininity. This is an easy grab-and-go summertime fragrance. So top notes are pear and umbrette, middle notes are rose and iris, and base notes of musk and virginia cedar. While with the name Irresistible, I was expecting more, but this is a simple, light, floral, fruity perfume. The opening is nice and I immediately pick up the pear, then I start to get the rose, but it is very subtle, but the musk in here is a bit strong. So it smells sweet, creamy, and soapy, and powdery. It's a soft feminine fragrance that I can wear basically anywhere during the day. Well, this is not sexy and not a date night perfume, but this is very wearable. You can wear this all year round. Is there a wow factor on it? I don't think so. Is this memorable maybe not but it is a really pretty perfume last one is perfect by mark jacobs and as i said i was really having a hard time to choose between this and the intense version but i ended choosing this one so this is a bright floral fruity perfume it has top notes of rhubarb and narcissus which is a daffodil middle notes of almond milk and base notes of cashmiran and cedar so this actually has that perfect amount of sweetness and floral fresh scent so on the opening i get the rhubarb it's bright fruity opening then the almond milk comes in that makes it sweet and creamy and this is what i love about it this smells youthful and for me it is such a happy scent it's effortlessly beautiful it's bright and an easy rich fragrance it's a perfect daytime or an office friendly scent well it's not really that groundbreaking or you know i can say it's a safe perfume but it's a gorgeous fragrance and you can't go wrong with it maybe if this was released during my college days this would be the perfume that i will wear on my graduation day because it definitely represent me during that time you know a young happy playful woman full of life not yet that powerful but ready to take the world so maybe you're wondering why i chose this and not the intense well the intense is also lovely but it's gourmand and it smells really almondy and like a milky cookie and i already have few gourmand fragrances so i don't know if i would reach for the intense but yeah, the main reason really is that the perfect Marc Jacobs gives me a happy vibe every time I sniff on it and it makes me feel young. But they're both pleasant and definitely I will keep on testing this miniature. I'm glad that they, they gave me this. But for me, well now I think I will enjoy first the original Perfect by Marc Jacobs. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button and also share this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe and be happy. Bye!